Those familiar with the BuzzTools customizing programs will recognize the similar user interface of BuzzWord. Even if you have never seen our software before, the straightforward and easy-to-use tools will allow you to quickly create and add text to existing designs. From the Welcome dialog, create a new design in your format and choose the desired hoop. The toolbar on the left contains customizing and lettering tools. Create straight line text by clicking on the Enter Text Toolbar button, which looks like the letter A. Then click inside the hoop at the starting location for your text. Type in your text into the Object Properties dialog and your design is updated. Change the thread color of your lettering by clicking on the thread spool and choosing a new color from the dialog box. The font dropdown allows you to select the type of font to use for your lettering. The standard fonts are built into BuzzWord and a preview of the individual fonts is available in the adjacent dropdown. Once you're in this field, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through the various font options. The stitches in the standard fonts are generated as you enter them, providing the best possible results. Our copy of BuzzWord also has the Windows TrueType font add-on pack, which is available for purchase separately. The ability to use TrueType fonts for lettering provides endless lettering possibilities. You will be able to choose Windows fonts from the font type list and the TrueType fonts are shown in the adjacent drop-down along with a preview. Change the size of your lettering using the arrows on the font size field or type in a value. This dialog has many other options that we suggest you explore including fills, boldness, slant, and spacing. Click on the Text Advanced tab to access additional text options such as aspect ratio, density, and underlay. To add an additional line of text using the same settings, you can check the multi-line text box. When this is selected, each line of the text field is treated as a separate line in your design. Click on the Text Advanced tab to change the position of the multi-line text. To adjust the location of the lettering in the space window, hold down the left mouse button while you drag it within the hoop. Once you've entered your text, there isn't any need to close the Object Properties dialog. You can leave it open while you create additional lines of text. For this example, I'm deleting the second line in the dialog and turning off multi-line text. I'm doing this so that I can individually control the size, font, and colors of this line of lettering. Again, click on the Enter Text tool and click in the space window at the starting location. I've decided I like these new settings so much that I want the other text I've entered to use them too. Select the text object and then click the Copy Style button on the dialog. Now click on the second text object and click Paste Style to apply the same settings to the new selection. Select multiple text objects by shift clicking on them. You can then use the Align Objects tab of the Objects Properties dialog to align the selected objects. While they are selected, click, hold, and drag them in space to the desired position. BuzzWord allows you to add designs to your current project. Select Insert Design from the File menu, navigate to an embroidery design on your computer, and choose when you would like to have the design stitched. I'm having it stitched last. Once inserted, you can click, hold, and drag it into the desired location. Use Select All from the Edit menu and Center from the Tools menu and the entire design will be centered in the hoop. Further customization is possible because the settings are recalled in the Text Properties dialog when a text object is selected. Moving objects in space and changing text attributes will allow you to create one-of-a-kind embroidery designs. With BuzzWord, you can change and match thread colors between the text and insert designs to create a coordinated professional stitch file. This may result in additional thread changes. 
you can easily eliminate these by combining them using the Sort Colors tool located on the top menu bar. See how your finished design will sew with the Sew Simulator. Remember, if you don't like your changes, you can undo them by pressing Ctrl-Z on your keyboard. You can do this more than once, depending on how far back you wish to step.